so in this video we are going to see some more functionalities which we can add while working with the large objects in a paprest full application programming model these two functionalities are for example if you have uploaded any file and uh, you need a feature when you click on the file that file should be downloaded rather than opening into a new tab of your browser we will see this functionality how we can achieve this then the second functionality which we are going to see is uh, which is very common use case scenario we need to apply a file type restriction when you are uploading a file so for example if you only want to upload a pdf file then we can allow only pdf file to get uploaded using a bap rap so let's start so in our previous video file upload part 1 we have created this application and uh, we have provided a capability to upload the attachments and uh, you can have multiple attachments in this application now in this video what we are going to do is uh, first thing which we are doing is when you click on the file name it should be downloaded onto your local machine so let's see what current functionality is so when you click the file see it is opening into a new tab but what i want is i want to download this file on my local machine so for that let's open our eclipse and uh, go to our interface view for the attachment since we want to make change on to attachment functionality go to interface view of attachment and uh, this is what the annotation which we have used to work with the large objects this has certain properties and those property have some values here so to download the file to achieve that functionality we already have added one property here content disposition preference and currently the value set is in line but if you want to download you have a value say attachment so once you add this and activate now our view is activated go to our application and uh, go back and refresh go back now earlier when i click on this it was opening into the tab now since we have changed the property value to attachment let's click on this and see now it is getting downloaded here if you open this same file is getting opened here okay so this was the first functionality which we want to demo here this is done now the next functionality which we are going to see is we want to restrict users to only upload the pdf file and uh, if the file is not a pdf file any other extension then we also want to show some error message to the user so let's see how that can be achieved again we need to work with the large object annotation here and uh, after this we need to set some property value here which is uh, acceptable mime types and here you need to provide a mime type so our mime type is uh, okay so to get the mime type i have opened a supported mime types this is a generic one and uh, in this what we are going to do is we will be using this mime type application slash pdf since we only want to upload the pdf file here so go back and paste the mime type and activate okay so our view is activated go back to our application and refresh
Now open one record and now click on edit. Create a new upload here. File type validation and try to upload a file which is not a PDF type file. So I am taking here a text file. Select this and open. See, we are getting now an error here. What the error is showing here? The selected file format is text or plain and allowed file format is application or PDF. It means it is automatically providing you an error message, a descriptive error message if you have applied a MIME type restriction while uploading a file. Now let's try to upload a PDF here. Upload test PDF. See our file is accepted and click on apply. See upload test PDF is here. Click on save. Our file got uploaded successfully. Okay, so this is how you can apply the restriction and uh, you can also download the uploaded file here that's all for now in this video and if you like the content please consider subscribing to my channel thank you